Hey guys, what's up? Nobody here, and we're back again with my playthrough of Knuckles Sonic Mania. Knuckles Sonic Mania. Yeah, Knuckles Mania, we're gonna call it that. We're back with my playthrough of Knuckles Mania with Hydra City Zone. We just completed... Uh... I don't know, I'm recording this the next day, so... We just completed, um... What was the number before this? Was it... Press Gardens? Was that it? I don't think so, but... No, Starlight, uh, yeah. Starlight Speedway. Yeah, we just completed Stardust Speedway. That one, yeah. Stardust. Yeah, like the dragon, only it's not. And we're gonna be tackling Hydro City Zone, just like from Sonic 3, again. Just like from the Sonic Mania playthrough. You know what, it, it, it's, you, you know what stage this is. You, you probably watched the uh, first part of this where I played Sonic, so you know what the stage order is. I don't think there's any difference. So, we should probably have something else to talk about. Like the fact that there's supposed to be a Sonic movie that Sony's making that no one's heard anything from and it was supposed to come out next year. Is that still a thing? Like, and it's supposed to be like mixed live action and CGI. That CGI, that better be some damn good CGI, but considering the current state of Sony Pictures, I am terrified. Hey, look, a boat. I saw a boat. That was a boat. But yeah, you know, considering the current state of Sony Pictures, you know, the Emoji Movie, Ghostbusters. If you like the new Ghostbusters, more power to you. I didn't really care for it, but yeah, the Emoji Movie, Ghostbusters. Just the two offers of memory. Honestly, I can't recall the last time I've heard of. I can't recall the last time I've seen a good Sony movie. I can't recall a Sony movie off the top of my head. I can't recall a movie off the top of my head that Sony released that was good. Yeah, granted, I'm not the best with um. I'm not the best with uh you know company picture names. I don't. I'm not a uh, real big movie buff. I guess if that's what you want to call it. But, uh, I do kind of pay attention to some of the names like, uh, Paramount and, uh, WB. You know, the ones that, uh, make the, Warner Brothers make the, uh, DC movies, so, you know, you kind of know about them. And, uh, Marvel and Disney are doing the, uh, Marvel movies, and, um, you know, I know shit like that, but outside of that, I don't know very much. Um, but I know that, uh, I don't think I've heard anyone mention a good Sony picture that was in recent memory. Was Sausage Party a Sony movie? Was that what that was? I, uh, shit, you know what else was a Sony movie? That stupid movie about, uh, Seth Rogen killing Kim Jong-un? Fuck. What was it? Uh... The Dictator or The Informant, some stupid movie like that. That was fucking dumb. Shit. Sony City Zone. I don't know, I heard Sony's in big trouble. At least given the state of their movie industry. Hey look! That was unexpected. No, we want to go down. And we want to go to the left. Don't hit the spike dudes, that's not good. So yeah, supposedly they're doing a Sonic movie, and that doesn't make me feel very comfortable. Honestly, the concept of a live-action Sonic movie doesn't really appeal to me at all. It's a cartoon. Cartoons don't really work in live-action settings, excluding things like, you know, Roger Rabbit, where the uh, whole thing was... It was well done, I guess is a good way of putting it. But... You know, cartoons in real life just don't really mix that well. It's... Eh. Shit. I mean... There was this old TV show that ran on Cartoon Network. It was uh, Out of Jimmy's Head. Yeah, how many of you actually remember that? But it was about this kid who uh, got a brain transplant with this dude who's basically, you know, not Disney. And, uh... Now we start seeing all these creatures who are not Mickey and not Minnie and not Goofy and not Donald and you know it's 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 pretty bad. Come on, that's 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 definitely an air bubble. But you know, it's the whole concept was dead in the water to begin with, I guess is the point I'm trying to get across. It just doesn't work. It could work, but I I can't really think of an example where it did work. Again, outside of Roger Rabbit, but even then, 
I'm not really a big fan of Roger Rabbit. Yeah. I know. Blasphemy. I, don't, I know. I know. I'm a terrible person, but... I don't know. There's just... It's just not a movie for me. My friend used to watch it. Uh, used to be on at his house every now and then when I would go hang out. So I ki I've kind of seen the general gist of the movie. But it's just... It's not for me. Oh, hey. This is the same fight as Sonic. Well, this isn't fair. Okay, so... um. If you grab Eggman, if you grab a bomb while you have Eggman, then it's not really much of a problem because as soon as you hit Eggman, everything stops. But um, if a bomb goes up before Eggman, let it go because it will damage you. That's how you take damage in this. I didn't know that the first time. Granted, this boss is like incredibly easy. It's it's almost kind of a joke how easy Eggman is to fight here. But cool. So that was Act 1. Not bad. I wonder if Hydra City is any different for Knuckles. Well, it's a bit more of a dick. Nope, nope. But I can still climb all, so fuck you. Speedrunning with Knuckles must be, like, impossible. Or really easy. I'm not sure which. The ability to climb walls feels like it would be something really re that would be really, really useful to uh, speedrunners. But he doesn't move that fast, so I wonder if it would kill your time, actually. I mean, he's basically Sonic with the ability to glide and spin dash, but he can't use the elemental shields. So, he's easy mode Sonic? I guess? I don't know, I always thought Tails was more the easy mode. I should probably get that, uh, water shield. No, Knuckles. Duck. There you go. Yay! Go this way. Go this way. Nope. Huh. Go figure. I didn't need it. Wow. I don't think I could do that again if I tried. Nope. I love the ability that Knuckles... I love the fact that Knuckles will kill things as he's gliding. It makes dealing with those friggin' uh, piranhas so much easier. Those things are a... Bitch. When I was a kid, they used to eat me to the fucking death because I had no idea how to get rid of them. Stupid me didn't think, hey, maybe I should spin dash to get rid of them, but... You know, I was stupid, I was a kid, I didn't think things through, that's the way I work. <sighs> Stop judging me. So, so far, I haven't really noticed much of a difference with uh, Knuckles' Hydra City Zone. If there really is one. Which, again, kind of depresses me. I wish there was more of a difference. Like, I get the whole idea is to reuse assets, and it makes things easier, and it makes things more fluid, but... And I mean, fundamentally, it's not like Knuckles can't do these stages. He's basically Sonic with the ability to glide and fly. Which comes incredibly in handy when you have to do things like that. I really should have just kept fly or climbing. No! Uh, now I gotta wait. Okay, there we go. Yay! So, Knuckles gets shafted in Hydra City Zone again. Go figure. Oh well. Could be worse. He could have, uh... <laughs> he could climb on walls and not be able to get off. Or we could be searching for emerald pieces. Not that I don't like that mechanic, but I definitely more approve of the ability to uh, just play a Sonic level as Knuckles. That's that's definitely a lot more fun. With occasionally, oh god, I almost died there. But um, you know, some fighting mechanics wouldn't be bad for Knuckles. He's supposed to be a quote unquote martial artist. Quote unquote. I'm pretty sure his martial arts just consist of punching things. But you know what? That's fine. Punching things seems to work for a lot of people. Sans included. Okay, that would have wrecked my shit. Hey look, now I have 14 lives. No! 
Nope. That uh, would have been bad. Okay. I think we're almost through Act 2. I think. Where we have to fight that really weird version of Eggman. Yep. Wait, no? No, wait, yep. Hey, look! It's the boss from Hydra City from Sonic 3 that Eggman stuck a propeller on the front of. Part of me really thinks that I should just go super for this, but I did that for the last one, so I'm gonna do this legitimately. Yeah, you can ground in this stage. Kinda sucks. Those air bubbles are really helpful, though. Oh, God. You lose your rings, like, instantaneously, though. So be vigilant. Oh boy. Now we're gonna have Spike coming from the bottom, and then from the top, and then from the bottom again, and then we're going to enter another split, I think. Yep. Go up, tap the bomb, and drop. I said drop! Great. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be impossible. Oh, why? 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 You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not sure it's a smart one. But it's an idea. And now it doesn't matter. Oh wait, yeah it does. Cool. Oh, this is gonna be a long boss fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Gotta get there, gotta get there. Yay. No. Ring, no. I'm fighting for my life here. No. You know, what I need to do is get up on the wall and then glide from side to side. That wasn't smart. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. No. Yes. No. 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 This is unfair. I call foul. I'm going to drown. No. Hey, I did it. No! Hey, wait, that worked. Hit him. Yay, we did it! Cool! We beat Hydra City on Act 2. Well, I can think of one difference that we're going to see in Mirage Saloon, which is next. So stick around, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we go flying, I think.